Welcome back. My deal stash is going to revisit the Android Mini TV with dual core A9 processor. You may remember the screen from last week. It goes forever because for some reason the firmware sent on the device was broken. So we're going to reflash the firmware with Finless 1.6 custom ROM. All right, you need to download the, the file from freaktab.com. Once you have the file downloaded to your computer, you'll need to extract it with a unzipping or RAR type program. Once you have that, plug in your MK808 to your computer via the data port. All right, you'll see here, unfortunately, it's not found. Uh, it can't find the device for some reason trying trying to use the easy method. So we're going to have to unplug the device. Now we're going to have to try and flash the MK808 manually. We're going to have to use a pin and, and also the data cable that's plugged into the computer to do this. First take your pin and put it into the little hole on the left side. Be careful, don't use the hole on the right side. That's the LED light. So while pressing the little reset button and plugging the data cable in the OTG data port and holding it for about 10 seconds and then releasing the reset button, you should be in flash mode. One way to tell you're in flash mode is, is the LED light is not on. If that LED light is on, you are not in flash mode, so you will have to repeat the step. All right, the device is found. It, it is an unknown device at this time, so we are going to have to install the driver software. Go to your place on your computer where you put the driver software. Make sure you choose the correct type of driver software. My computer is a 64-bit version of Windows 7, so that's the software I'm going to choose. Once you have the software selected, click Next. The driver will be installed. That, that screen is just a publisher verification screen. Um, this particular ROM is not registered with Microsoft. It is safe to continue. That's why that little screen comes up. This part could take several minutes. I actually sped it up because I don't want you guys to have to waste time watching my video just load and s install. All right, the RK30 device has been detected, the AKA MK808 mini TV. So that's cool. So it should see it now. Now at this point, we will restart the computer. Once your computer is restarted, Unplug the MK808 and then plug it back in to restart it to restart it as well. Now we'll unplug that and then we'll just plug it back in in a moment here. Log back into your computer. Now we need to put the drive back in flash mode. I'm doing it the manual way. Try and hold it for 10 seconds. I might be just shy of 10 seconds. If you go a little bit longer, it's a little safer. Aha, see that? It should be in flash mode because the LED light is not showing. The device is showing as the RK30 device. That will work. Now we'll double click on the ROM tool to get it started and aha! Now it's showing. That's a very good sign. So now we can erase the NAND or NAND memory and then flash this ROM. So first click erase. This part takes several, several minutes. Um, I sped it up, of course, just to you know keep this tutorial moving along. Click OK. Now flash the ROM. This part is very, very crucial that your device remains powered on. If you have a UPS, an unre 
uninterruptible power supply, I would definitely have your computer plugged into one of those because if like a lightning strikes or your power goes out, oh, you could be you could brick your device and that would be no good because you'd be out 50 or 60 or 70 dollars. This part takes a long time as well. I've also sped up this portion of the tutorial to save time because there's no reason to watch it running and loading onto the little mini TV. See that? Now the device is running. As you can see, the little LED light on the right side there. All right, now we're gonna plug in our HDMI cable, which is plugged into our HDMI monitor. You can also use an HDMI enabled TV. There you go, boom, finless Bob Rom. That's cool. That's way farther than I got before. I used to be stuck at the splash screen. Cool. So there, there you have it. Now get your trusty wireless keyboard, couch surfing keyboard, I like to call it. There's the little wireless dongle for the wireless keyboard. And it picked it up right away. It was awesome. I, I didn't have to mount it or anything. It just recognized it once I plugged it in. All right, let's test the web. The web doesn't work yet. We still have to set the, the wireless card settings. So click on settings, then click Wi-Fi, select it to on. Now go to your network and select whatever wireless network you have at your home and then log into that. Once you type that information, click connect or OK. Let's try the internet now. Give it a sec. Awesome. Try Google. Perfect. We're connected to the internet. It's looking good. OK, let's try a couple sites out. YouTube, it pulls up on the Google there. Try my own little trusty site, mydealstash.com. It appears to load there as well. Let's try loading my YouTube page. Oh, you can see it there. It's really fast. I mean, for $50, $60 range, it's super cool. Show you how to close programs there. Now let's power the device off. You just click the power button, click OK, and there it is. It's off. And you can see the light is off. It is safe to unplug now. All right, thanks for watching. This has been a My Deal Stash video on updating the firmware on the Android Mini TV with dual core A9 processor. If you like this video, please subscribe to our My Deal Stash channel. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you at another My Deal Stash video sometime soon.